Hi there, I'm Ms. Artastic, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about how to teach art for homeschooling. So let's dive in on this episode and let's make some art. to integrate art with other subjects. So I think it's really valuable if we integrate into the uh, art into other subjects you're already teaching, whether it is math, you can think about um, exploring art concepts with math um, and, and think about, you know, like doing groups of images if you're doing multiplication or addition or if you, you can explore, if you're exploring a certain topic in science, like a life cycle, maybe you can create an artwork that reflects the, top, the subject matter that you're teaching, whether it's like a pumpkin lifestyle, a pumpkin life cycle, or a frog. Then maybe you can illustrate um, and create artworks of frogs or tadpoles or different stages of their life, whatever it is. Or if you're studying a book, right, or writing around a certain topic, you can think about different ideas or themes that are connected to those that can be um, integrated as an art project. So thinking about how to integrate art with your other subjects as well, so you're not teaching more, but you're all, it's all connected and it's going to deepen the learning at home. All right, number two is to follow your child's interests. So if you notice a new interest of theirs, use that to spark some ideas of artworks, subject matters to create. So if they're suddenly interested in, I don't know, trains, maybe you're gonna take some train themed artworks or if they're loving peacocks you're going to start doing peacocks i'm just making it up um so thinking about using your child's interest and and following it uh, as a way to spark ideas for some art number three is to use some online resources you can find lots of different youtube channels um, out there to help teach different skills like how to use oil pastels or how to use art techniques in watercolor paintings there's so many art tutorials out there um, and i would encourage you checking them out on youtube i also offer different kids and preschool level art tutorials and art videos um, on my channel hundreds and hundreds of them so if you are looking for some art and drawing tutorials make sure you subscribe to this channel and then explore my preschool category or playlist and my kids playlist for some different um, artworks and drawing tutorials for a variety of different ages all right number four is to visit art museums and you can do this in person or online i highly encourage you going and taking a look at real art out there Again, either in your community, local art galleries, local art museums, or if you're a little bit too far away, then there are so many different art museums that offer online preview experiences, such as the Museum of Modern Art or MoMA. They have a, you can view online high quality resolution images of art for free. If you start, you know, zooming in on those, um, you will see all the different marks of the paint and the thickness of it. Like if you look up, zoom in on a Van Gogh, you will see all the marks of, and the thick, of thickly applied paint um, that he applied to the canvas when he was painting. So it's super cool. I highly recommend you check it out um, online or in person. All right, next is to number five is to incorporate some art books. So books that are art themed um, into your learning. So books about artists or about art history, books about how to draw, books about um, how to make art. And you can find a, re a recommended book list of just to get you started. Um, oh, even books about like the concepts of art or being an artist, like Peter Reynolds, The Dot or Ish or Sky Color from his Creatology series. You can find a recommended book list um, in the description of the video, all my recommended books. Um, and then you can use that list and you can either find them uh, online by clicking the links, um, or you can find them in your local bookstore or library. Just know that the link list is a Amazon affiliate link. Um, that means that I may get a commission should you make a purchase, um, just so you are aware. But it's a great place to start if you're looking for some art book ideas for your kids. And then finally, number six, my tip is to create arts together. I believe in modeling, um, being a creator, um, never giving up, 
trying new things, um, learning how to draw and make art. I think that is a great way to um, inspire your kids to create as well as that if you are doing it. Even if you're not confident in it, it's okay, you're one step ahead of them. So let just create with them, it's quality family time, and if you watch a YouTube video, you can learn a skill and then teach it to them as well, right? Um, or if you're looking for some fully planned art lessons, some video art lessons that are gonna teach a variety of different art projects and through a variety of different themes, such as holidays and seasons, such as the elements of art, such as plants and landscapes and food and underwater, things that go and so much more through a variety of different just right levels, so easier, medium, and harder levels, and you can pick a just right level for you, you can find my art lessons available online at my Artastic Kids online streaming membership. It is my online membership that offers a li art library of video art lessons designed for kids and families, um, hundreds of different art lessons with five new art lessons added every single month. And you can check it out at artastickids.com or by scanning the QR code on the screen or hitting the link in the description uh, below the video. Artastic Kids is the most affordable art lessons on the internet, even better than in person because one membership is good for the entire household and then you can watch it at any time, any place, on any device, making it work for your schedule, whatever that might be. So take a look, and also the best thing is that um, you can make as many art lessons or artworks as you want. You can make one a month or you can make a hundred a month if you're ambitious. And it doesn't matter, it's the same cost, same monthly fee. So make sure you take a look at our Tastic Kids online streaming membership today. All right, my friend, um, the other thing is that if you're looking for some more um, educational art lesson plans, I also have art project membership. Art project membership is designed for teachers and homeschool families, very specifically for teachers and homeschool families because every single month a new bundle of art lessons will be added into your um, art library and the bundle will include um, a couple of different art projects, it'll introduce your theme, it'll introduce, it'll give you a directed draw video and an art activity as well all around the a theme. So it's all gonna be around a theme. So every single month you'll get a new theme bundle added to your library with all your lesson plans, your reflections, your assessment. So it's more of an art resource library, a teaching resource library full of your lesson plans to help you teach and implement into your homeschooling or teaching program. And that is Art Teacher Membership, and you can check out Art Teacher Membership by scanning the QR code on the screen. All right, my friend, your next video to watch is how to teach your kids to make art, and you can watch that video by clicking the link above or in the description of the video, and I'll see you in that episode. Please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Help me get to my goal of 100,000 subscribers. See you there.